morning. I thought I'd take you with me throughout my day today. Well, um, first thing I do is check on the cows. I turn on the hose that goes out to their, their watering system. And I say their watering system, I, I'm actually referring to the, to the hose that's watering the grass um, out in the pastures. And uh, I unhook it to uh, fill up their water tank, but I only have to do that once every three days or so. Looks like we might get rain today. We've been cleaning out this area a little bit. Everett's helped a lot. Hey there, cowies. So here's what I mean. Um, so I've got this hooked up to where I can water different sections with different hoses um, and move the sprinklers around. This part I haven't watered at all, as you can probably tell. Um, but then I can unhook it and fill up their water tank every few days when I need it. Got that going for a few minutes. I'll go move the sprinkler. <laughs> they know they're gonna get fresh food, so they're excited to come join me, I think. Well, maybe not. <laughs> this green part back there is the part that they grazed about a month ago, um, one little section at a time. I've actually got one, five sections. One, two, so four right here. Anyway, got a bunch of sections out there. I graze them for about a week at a time, down to just stubble. Then I water them and then block it off so they haven't been on there for a month. And this is what happens when they eat it and then I don't water it. I didn't water that section accidentally. You can see the difference. I've got these sections all um, divided by electric wires. Uh, this one's about about 20 feet wide, I guess. And um, so they were on this for about a week. And then they have been off it since. And I've discovered, actually, that it's better for me to go through with the lawnmower afterwards and, um, and uh, shorten everything uh, so to get rid of these stumps of dry grass. They seem to like it better, and the grass seems to do better after it's been... Um, Shortened all the way. Hi. And they did this section. And now they're working on this one. You can kind of see the difference right now. You see the wires. I'm just checking on the grass. Looks like we've got a few days left on this. And then I'll go through, uh, mow it with just the regular lawnmower, push more. Only takes about 10 minutes or so. And uh, then I'll move them on to the next section out here. Luckily, even though it's been a really dry year, we've been extremely blessed that the grass has stayed green much longer than, than I had expected it. Um, and if, if this rate keeps up, we would never run out of summer uh, forage. But it's it's worrying me just a little bit how dry it's getting. But as I mentioned earlier, maybe we'll get some rain today. I know these aren't rain clouds, but these seem to be the types of clouds that come first before a rainstorm. So I'll just keep up hopes that maybe we'll get some rain. You can see the remains here of 
of the farm uh, that used to be here. Um, actually, this is all that remains. Our seven acres is all that remains of of a huge dairy. Um, it used to be uh, probably close to 100 acres or so. Um, we've still got the sprinkler lines here, but we don't have water rights, um, which means we can't use them. And there's no there's no pump or pressure system for us to hook up to. So this is just one of the, the relics. I'm sure it's a working relic, <laughs> but for us, it's, it's useless. Um, we do have plans to uh, dig our pond deeper and to uh, maybe pump some water out of that. Uh, it's just another project that we haven't gotten to yet. But anyway, here's just the little lawn sprinkler I've been using. And I've been estimating how much space it covers and then just laying it down and turning it on. So this will cover about 25 feet or so from end to end and I'll leave it there for about eight hours. That's taken care of. I'll check the water here. I'll just give that a couple more minutes. I like looking at this area and envisioning what we have in mind for it. At least one of the plants, one idea. So first we want to kill all the weeds that are totally useless out there. This thing being one of them. As far as we can research, there's no real usefulness to it. But the area in there with all the grass um, will just be a park. We'll maybe do a, a little pond and water feature and kind of just make it like a, a real real park with shade and maybe a little playground or something. But that's only, be only the beginning of it. We want to turn all these old cow sheds, oops, these things, into little craft booths, so like things that you'd see at a at an art or craft fair. And they're they're going all around this thing. Granted it needs a lot of cleaning up. And those ones in the back need to be completely rebuilt. But if you can imagine with me, big trees here, a place for kids to play, and then craft, food and art vendors all the way around here. Uh, with plenty of parking in back trailers or campers or something like that and we can just make this a pl fun place for people to gather and sell their wares and their food and things like that maybe a halloween or christmas or i don't know i don't know what time of year but that would just be a fun thing to do with all this again a lot of fixing up to do but still fun to imagine all right that's deep enough for the water all right, time to head back towards the house and I'll check out the garden next. I'm gonna go around the front yard just so I can walk by the flowers. Thank you. Well, you may notice I'm wearing a different shirt. Um, it's actually been a few days since I last filmed that last segment. Um, and I have now 
uh, realize that I'm never gonna get this thing uploaded if I don't cut it short a little bit. So I've got a lot of other footage that I wanna show you. Um, the garden, the animals, the pool. The pool. <laughs> um, and I, I better just get this uploaded so you can see this and just so I can move on in my mind. And I promise I will get the other footage uploaded um, in the next day. And I might actually cut it into two segments. I haven't decided yet. Um, but uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'll get this uploaded so you can see it um, and uh, show you the, the next stuff as soon as I can, which is like immediately after I upload this. So don't worry, it won't be a long time. All right, <laughs> thanks for joining me and uh, stay tuned. Um, you'll see the family in the next one and the garden and like I said, the pool too. All right, see ya.